Ha! Now let me try that with this. Legend has it that the Royal Enfield chooses its owner and not the other way around. Hello, I am Boski and you are watching the Art of Unwinding channel. Today I am going to share a video of a ride that I went on the Machismo 500 with a couple of friends on a Himalayan and on an Impulse. And if you like what you hear and see, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. The Machismo 500 was launched in mid-2007 and at that time the X showroom was about 1.05 lakhs. And also, I think it was the most expensive motorcycle made in India at that time. company probably made only around 500 or 600 of these because uh, end of uh, 2008 early 2009 the UCE was launched so this platform was discontinued several months before so I guess this is one of the very few motorcycles and I am privileged to have one today's ride took us to Arkavati Dam which is built across the river Arkavati, a tributary of the river Kaveri. Located near Kanakpura town, the dam helps in irrigation of the nearby areas. This dam is actually a recent structure, built in the year 2004. While when it comes to age of a dam, 2004 is like an infant. But in automobile industry, a 2007 motorcycle is probably outdated. When Royal Enfield launched the Machismo, they were manufacturing around 35,000 motorcycles a year. I think in uh, 2019, they were manufacturing about 75,000 motorcycles a month. The upstream side of the dam had islands of floating water hyacinth and one of the caretakers of the dam told us that that was pretty normal and they get blown in with the wind and go back out and it's been going on for several years. Coming back to the Machismo, the motorcycle pulls like a tractor. The 500cc engine develops so much of bottom and grunt that it is so easy to keep cruising over rutted roads, bad roads, uphill inclines at such low RPM that it's actually fun. I had a great time riding this motorcycle. Circling around the reservoir, fortunately we came across a dirt track which we believe would lead us to the water side. And yes it did, took us straight to a, a little fishing shack.
I'll probably come back here one day with a tent and a sleeping bag and see if I can spend a night here. This is an amazingly quiet, serene place. I am not much of a bird watcher, if you know what I mean. However, the birds here really got my interest. Coming back from birds to the motorcycle, the machismo handled so confidently, so comfortably in the dirt at such low speeds and a low RPM. Little wonder that this motorcycle is one of the favorites to ride up in the Himalayas. I am an average rider with average riding skills and the machismo made me feel a lot better than I feel on other motorcycles. And of course, our dirt don had to show off his love for the dirt on his impulse. Well, to be fair, I guess this is where he can show off his impulse. Once we were done with the dirt, we got back onto a little bit of broken tarmac and kept circling around the reservoir going through small towns, villages, enjoying the smell, the sights and the sounds of the countryside. Today's ride was one of the best we have ever had through the rural countryside. There are a lot of preconceived notions about travelling through villages. But let me tell you something. As long as we ride socially responsibly and trust our guts, trust the villagers, believe me, we will all have a great experience. And yes, of course, on the way back, I had to do the speed test. And as usual, I got to about 100, I ran out of courage. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Till next time. Be safe, ride safe. Thank you for watching.